kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video series on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video series, I will be teaching you all the concepts of the Google Drive API using Android Studio. Alright, guys. So this series will contain uh, four or five videos, and in this video series, you will uh, you are going to learn how you can uh, use the Google Drive new API and how you can. Uh, use it to upload your uh, your documents to your google drive api and then we can I'll, i will also show you how you can uh, display all of your files from your uh, google drive api in your android application using the recycler view all right so let's get started so as you can see that i already have the project so the first thing which we uh, which we always do is, is we always first of all add the dependencies to our build.gradle file so there we are going to first of all uh, use the google uh, drive api and then we will be using the uh, google place uh, play services auth api that will authenticate our uh, gmail account for our uh, google drive so first of all here we can add uh, the google play services api so for that we can say implementation and there you can write com dot google dot android dot gms colon play services auth 16.0.1 all right so after this after we add this we are now need the uh, google drive api so for that we can simply say let me just copy that and here we can write com dot google dot apis colon google api services slash drive colon v3 dash 3136 dash 1.25.0 and we can use the brackets and from there we can say exclude group and there we can uh, write org dot apache dot http components all right and the another uh, dependency which we uh, we will be requiring is the google api client for android so for that we can say implementation com dot google dot android sorry com dot google dot api slash client colon google api client Android 1.26.0 and there we can write exclude group org dot apache dot http components all right and after this we will be requiring the json for the google client so for that we can write implementation com.google.h 
HTTP client Google HTTP slash client JSON 1.26.0 all right so those were the dependencies so I will click on sync now and all right so now our dependencies are being added and yes you can see that we have successfully added all the dependencies which are required for our project so after this here we will only have we will select the uh, pdf file from our file so i will i mean from the file manager so i will randomly uh, i mean manually add the file here so i will have a button that will upload the file so we can say upload pdf file and then we can have an id or i think we don't need the id here all right so here we have this function and here we can have a function that will upload pdf file and all right and we will just use the on click method of xml and here we can write upload pdf all right and after this we are going to use some user permissions here so first of all uh, you we can use the internet permission and then we will be requiring the get accounts user permission then we will be requiring read external storage permission and that's all all right so i think that is enough for this video i will upload the second part of this video so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed thank you and goodbye